Professor Sapolsky, we're all atheists in that we all reject most of the gods that have ever been imagined in human history. Some of us just go one god further. But this is 1992. Surely we are not still in the grips of Bronze Age schizotypalism. Let me give you some recent statistics from a, a um, survey. What's the name of the survey? The Maine National Survey people. Yes, Gallup poll, that guy, the Gallup poll, a recent Gallup poll survey. I don't know about you guys, but these numbers astonished me. 25% of Americans say they believe in ghosts. 36% believe in mental telepathy. 47% believe in UFOs. And more than 50% of Americans believe in the devil and a belief that the devil influences daily activities. These are people who can vote. These are people who can serve on juries. These are people who can operate motor vehicles. These are people making decisions about medical interventions. But some of the versions of our westernized irrationality go back millennia and organize some of our most cherished values, the same irrationality and the same valuing of those who invent the appropriate versions of the irrationality runs throughout the West. Yes. I don't want to sound like Rush Limbaugh, but isn't it easy for you to make fun of American religiosity as a non-Christian? Okay, just to show you that I am not being overly hostile or will try to pull in my own sort of tradition that I was raised in, it is not normally considered a sign of robust mental health to hear voices coming out of burning bushes. This is considered a worrisome sign. This is considered diagnostic. It is not a good thing to be reporting that you just spent the night wrestling an angel. It is usually a very disturbing sign if you were reporting you've had a conversation with someone who is dead and has risen from the grave. These are diagnosable problems in our secular Western realm. These are the backbones of our belief systems, we in the West as well as we humans in non-Westernized settings. Schizotypalism runs through all of human history. Yes? How much schizotypal behavior do you have to have before we can just say, you're freaking nuts? totally artificial bucket to say schizophrenia up to here, past the side, non-schizophrenic, we have this in-between zone, like everything else we've been thinking about, it's on a continuum. What you got, wind up getting is, get it wrong and we call it a cult, get it right in the right time and the right place, and maybe for the next couple of millennia, people won't have to go to work on your birthday if you get it exactly right in that setting. What? This could be the perfect schizotypal gesture to get you to subscribe to my channel right now. I uh, didn't think about that. But even if you don't, and even if you don't uh, comment, which I would love you to do, I post videos every Thursday, and right now you can watch more cool science vids from me and the Chicago Council on Science and Technology, from whom you now have our best wishes that this is the best day of your life. Try it one more time.